it seems like San Francisco businesses are fighting this constant battle with taggers and vandals. The city spends millions of dollars to help property owners scrub, scrape, and spray away tags. But it seems like for a lot of them, the second that they're removed, they're back up again. And so they go back through the expense and the trouble over and over again. Some taggers even choose to make it an event. Two years ago, we actually reported on a mob of people that came to an organized spray painting party in the Mission. Over 100 people blasted stores and sidewalks at 18th and Mission. But when you have businesses like this one that are getting tagged every week with large amounts of graffiti, it doesn't seem fair or right to then say, you now have to spend the money cleaning it up or we are going to fine you. Yeah, that's the thing that adds insult to injury. Businesses themselves can actually be fined if they don't clean the graffiti up fast enough. But as our Itai Hod reports, one San Francisco business owner says when it comes to graffiti, he's no sitting duck. This longtime San Francisco barber has never been the type to ruffle anyone's feathers. But when faced with unsightly graffiti next to his beloved shop, rather than duck responsibility, Shorty Maniachi hatched a plan. This was just me messing around and having fun, and it turned out to be something great. His weapon of choice, rubber duckies. Hundreds of them. I see a lot of people smile, and I smile every time I look at it. It all started innocently enough. Oh, fun, look. Shorty had some rubber ducks left over from a Halloween party and decided to put them to good use. Who doesn't love a rubber duck? Armed with a drill and a vision, he began attaching these funny fowl to the boarded a business next door. The result, a colorful work of art. So colorful, in fact, it became a hot spot for influencers looking for that extra duck theme dazzle. I've never seen like a wall of ducks before and I just had to take a selfie. Ooh, I like that one. All in all, he's got about 700 rubber duckies of all different shapes and colors. There's a pirate, a unicorn, a clown, and some that aren't ducks at all. I've had people ask me where they come from China or, and tell them I don't know where they migrated from, but they're safe here now. When someone occasionally spray paints them, Shorty quickly finds a replacement. What I've noticed it more than anything is stilling, which I would love to be the fly on the wall to see that, that duck cartel. His unconventional approach has even gotten a stamp of approval from the city. I loved this, it really cracked me up. I Rachel Gordon is the spokesperson for the San Francisco Department of Public Works. She says the city spends well north of $10 million a year fighting graffiti. Any effort to stop it is welcome, as long as it's legal. Is it legal? It is legal. So as long as, long as the rubber ducks are not blocking the path of travel, which they're not, they're affixed to the building, they're not blocking, it's not people don't have to walk out in the middle of the street. It's fine what they did. The best part, those rubber ducks aren't just good for the neighborhood, they're also good for business. This was a corner nobody looked at. It's, it's helped, and the ducks have definitely got them to stop looking and go, oh, this place is kind of cool. Getting out of a hairy situation. Now that his barbershop is all the buzz.